last man Aberdeen wanted to see. He scored against them in both cup finals last season. Celtic need a response after their dreadful show against St. Petersburg, but this is a team that has often responded to adversity. And Aberdeen have failed miserably to get us going, having won their last nine encounters with Aberdeen. Can they make it ten in a row? Or can Aberdeen stop the rot and manage a rare victory, Andy? Yeah, an Aberdeen victory might just kickstart a title race. But they have this extraordinary mental block whenever to team. There's a foul. And again. Tierney driving forward here. McGinn said he didn't catch him. He got a bit of the ball, but I think he can through the man. Sinclair oh. should take it. Looked on by Lustig. There'll be another corner. See the front of the post there. Lustig makes a really good attempt. I think it actually came off Stevie May. Stevie May already making his move. I uh, Anshin Munovic both across the field with him, and that's a free kick for Aberdeen, which could be from the center. Yeah, it's a good run from Stevie May. Kieran Tierney's a bit high with the three at the back. There's a bit of space in that left back position, and May exploits it. And then he's brought down here by Shimunovic. This has got to be promising for Aberdeen to have a free kick such a dangerous area. Early goal, it is Kenny McLean to take it! It certainly had Celtic a tad worried. Anderson unable to latch onto it. It was driven so well. Doris de Vries is nowhere near it. It's inside the six-yard box. I wonder if he could just launch himself at it. Throw himself at the ball. I think he knows that's a big chance. Goalkeeper no targets. Steered it goalwards. It certainly gave Celtic a scare. McKenna pops it back, but that will go through to the wrist. Well, this type of throw, it's all about defending the second ball. It's a good ball into the box. Tierney's under it. Brown doesn't deal with it. He's claiming for a penalty there. You can see him with Cali. I think it came off the top of the chest of Dembele. Scott Sinclair delivers the corner. Oh, it's bounced off the frame of the goal. Freddie Woodman's really lucky. This is a great ball into the box. A bit of pace. He's got a bit of wind that's up here, and Woodman had absolutely no idea where that ball was ending up. Could easily have dropped in under the bar. Sinclair has to go from one side to the other to take this. Arneson. Bounce off to Mbele, Sinclair, wriggling clear of Logan. Good work here by Sinclair, and Mbele <laughs> took his time, and that allowed Woodman to intervene. But Rogic! And Woodman stood firm. Yeah, he stood high, he didn't dive, and it helped him, because the ball just came off his chest. But this is Dembele here. He's not sharp, is he? A sharp Dembele has that ball in the net after one touch to control it. And then Rogic here, lovely first touch. But as you say, Woodman just stands tall. Champ. Scott Brown advancing here. Woodman. <laughs> like he was going to come initially and then decided against it. Scott Brown unable to finish the job. Well, it's not often you see that option. Scott Brown electing to be the man who goes beyond the striker. Takes a really decent first touch under pressure here from O'Connor. He's a bit unlucky with a half volley. Look, McLean. McLean for Stevie May, who just couldn't connect as he would have wished. Brilliant run again from Stevie May, getting away from Lustig. Almost been found here from Kenny McLean. He's shaped to go front. Took Lustig with him, and he's just inches away from getting a touch on that cross. Really good ball from McCarley for Mackay Stephen. It's going to be Eva Carr coming the way of Mackay Lustig. He can do that to most defenders, Gary Mackay Stephen, when his first touch is as good as this, knowing that the defender's coming in. He was away there, it's worthy of a yellow card. Chan Rogic started to go early, and the flag stays down. Now, was Woodman in or out there? 
<laughs> the Celtic fans who are right opposite certainly had only one opinion. The first thought was he was just on the line. And to be fair to the assistant referee in this side, he was right up with play. And the corner's defending here. He's hand up for about 15 yards, concentrating running. You can see there clearly inside the box, and look where the assistant referee was. Brown. Rogic. Rogic for Forrest. Blocked by Contadine. Chab! Unlucky off the post! And the flag was up as Dembele tried to poke in the rebound. Yeah, but it's a brilliant effort from Chab. Well controlled this shot. Mackay Stevens taking a sore one. But when this falls to Cham, he's on the side there. Just guiding it towards that far post. So unlucky. But then just drop in off the post. It's a wonderful effort. Cham taking up a good position. He's actually on the side. And gets it round in with Cali. Something. Some patient passing. James Forrest trying to make it happen here. He does make it happen for Moussa Dembele. Celtic are back in the old routine ahead against Aberdeen. Well, it's all down to James Forrest because he comes alive here on the right-hand side. And the quality of his end product is magnificent. Considine is a couple of yards away from him. But look at the quality of that cross. Obviously too much for Woodman, just goes over his head and Dembele's in there and just from a yard out. My goodness, every striker loves that type of service. Heading the ball home from just a yard out, but the quality of that cross to take out Woodman, to allow Dembele to meet it, fantastic cross from Forrest. A delightful delivery. Uh, Moussa Dembele, who scored twice here. Back in October, he's at it again. It's actually his fourth goal in six matches. Tierney, who scored a great goal here earlier in the season. A real power on that from Moussa Dembele. But he has scored his second goal in four goal by Tom Rogic. Yes, striding with purpose. Oh, they could have played the advantage there. But probably might have whistled immediately for a free kick. Well, I thought when he pulled the whistle, he was going to boot. McKenna. His eye are just striding forward there. Uh, the yellow card was out. And I don't think McKenna Kevin can have any complaints. I are driving forward here, and McCallie trying to get close, but I are still away from him. And completely missed time. That's a sore one for Ayer. Ball did fall to Rogic, but it is worthy of a yellow card. Key players in Graham Shinney and Brian Christie, but then Celtic can point to quite a few more notable absentees today as well, although, of course, they do have a bigger squad to cope with that. And McCarley for McLean. Have Celtic had it rather easier than they might have thought so far, Andy? Yeah, I thought I expected a lot more from Aberdeen. I think when you look at Celtic and... You know, defensively, I think they're vulnerable. I think they've got a goalkeeper who's unconvincing. He hasn't had to deal with a shot. Aberdeen's best. Now McGinn sends that back. Ayer does the same. And Dembele stays down after he's caught by Arneson, who's going to be booked. Yeah, that's a frustrated figure at the moment, Arneson. Can see here. It's catches in belly. I don't know if it's worth a yellow card. Certainly a foul. Yeah, Aberdeen could be really exposed here. Sinclair for Forrest. Only Logan and Emwakali are back. This looks rather ominous for Aberdeen. But Logan is able to block the cross and they've got away with that. But Tierney was here as a centre forward. He was breaking forward with Forrest and in belly. Celtic keeping Aberdeen at bay. Bobby Madden gives it.
gives the free kick to Celtic, which has rather irked Aberdeen. Home team, Kilmarnock. Shavinovic has taken out his own man higher there. O'Connor now for Mackay Stephen, and Stevie May cannot turn it in. He didn't expect it, and I don't know if he should. Mackay Stephen is in a terrific position for a pop at goal. When the ball breaks here to Mer O'Connor, he set up Mackay Stephen. I was sure he was going to pull the trigger. A serious head injury there. Referee decides to wave play on. And the set up there from Mackay Stephen. Just wondered whether. Madden happy with that. Scott Brown put under pressure by O'Connor. And O'Connor clearly took out Lustig there with a rough, uh, reckless kick. Yeah, his first challenge was a good one. You could hear the way that the home supporters got behind their team when they saw that level of commitment. Second one was a clear foul. That uh, beat Celtic in Europe a few years back. So a holding on to McLean and a really handy free kick this for Aberdeen as they pursue an equaliser. Assistant referee was only a few yards away from that, kept his flag down. As you say, very by Arneson. McLean caught again by Shimunovic. He's uncomfortable, Shimunovic up against McLean. Normally you expect McLean in a midfield area to be creative. He's very effective when the ball's in the air. Shimunovic is all over him. Shimunovic finds it awkward again, and Kenny McLean moved in! McGinn! Incredible blocking! And O'Connor! Extraordinary defending from Celtic! I, mean, I think it's Lustig a credit to the feast for the save. Carly. He's going to have a go, but that's going way wide. And I've got us to face. Shibunovic, the problem is there, he lets it bounce. And McLean's on to it. That's a good save. And the block here from Ayer and Lustig on the line. Doing everything they can just to keep it out. De Vries and then that shot from McGinn. The combination of Lustig and Ayer. Injury. Man who was a thorn in the side of Aberdeen last season, scoring in both cup finals. Rogic is replaced by Callum McGregor. Decided to take the shot on. A bit hopeful. <laughs> Couldn't be bothered with that patience. Just keeping the ball moving left to right. Have a pop at goal. Lustig, careless. Lustig. He's already on a yellow card and he's going to be off. Celtic down to ten men for the final quarter of an hour as Mikhail Lustig walks. He can't have any complaints. It's his own bad touch that puts him in trouble. And it's a cynical foul. Gary Mackay Stephen is pouncing on it. He's in two minds there clearly. And Mackay Stephen wants it. Wants to get it away from Lustig. Takes him out and it's another yellow. Celtic under pressure now for the last 15 minutes or so. CB May then is replaced by Sam Cosgrove. Cosgrove. Tripped by Brown. <laughs> I don't know if they're in too much of a rush to take it, Aberdeen. I think the best bet. Just to get the ball into the ball. So Milovic has given away a free kick for a foul on Cosgrove. It's certainly dangerous for Celtic to give away so many free kicks. You tend to think Aberdeen will take advantage of one of them. The amount of times they throw it and get the opportunity. By Milovic. He's arriving on the scene here. It's Kieran Tinney! And for the second time at Petodri this season, it's a wonderful goal for him. It's the same old.
old story for Celtic against Aberdeen, even with 10 men. Well, if you put it to one side, the quality of the finish from Tierney. The amount of times he has galloped up the left-hand side. He is so determined to get up and support here of Edouard. One touch to control and then bang! Look at the power he generates in this left foot shot. And despite being down to 10 men, Celtic have made it count on the break. Ruthless and clinical from Tierney. What a strike that is. Jubilation for Celtic. Scott Brown. Brown's <laughs> certainly in the walls there, but <laughs> he's uh, enjoying it, but the, the red card has been shown here. Bobby Madden stepping in. Cosgrove is the man who's been shown red, I think. And Aberdeen are down to nine. Well, here's a tackle here. And you can see here, there's that tackle there, rather than Logan battering the ball into Scott Brown. O'Connor's on the deck with him. Brown wants to get away, and they're that outrageous challenge from Sam Cosgrove. Aberdeen are down to 10 rather, as indeed are Celtic. Both sides. Evers. Away by Edouard. Here in Timmy, conceding a free kick for a foul on Kenny McLean. The team is absolutely convinced they got the ball here. They did get the ball. And Mackay Stephen will come across to take this. Mackay Stephen. It's a priest. Probably could have caught that, but Kenny McLean. Again. You see him here jumping high for the ball with Hendry. Gets a bit of a knock. Had. He seems to make the face, and he's come up with a good. Ten wins in a row for Brendan Rodgers and Southwick against Aberdeen. Lucia Dembele put them ahead, but Mikhail Lustig was sent off. Don't worry though, up pop Kieran Tierney with another cracker at Pitogri. Aberdeen also finished with ten men. Final score, Aberdeen nil, Celtic two. And that is 10 defeats for Aberdeen against Celtic since February 2016. And back-to-back -back defeats in the league. What does it mean to the league and Brendan Rodgers?